All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here and wanted to do another video on a new case that I picked up for my Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. So about a week and a half ago, I did a video on two cases. One was a Spigen case. I believe it's the Liquid Air Armor, I think is what it's called off the top of my head. Um, that was a great little black rubber casing that goes just on the watch itself. And then the other one I did was from Sup Case and that was the Unicorn Beetle that was an all-in-one type of piece uh, watch case that had the case with straps so like I said just one big piece very rugged very military looking uh, made the watch look like a G-Shock so it was very very protective uh, of the Active 2 but I did want to pick up one more that I mentioned and that was the Rinky so R-N-G-K-E uh, case which I got the box here so this is the box like I said, it's the Rinky Air Sport. Now, as you can see here, this is for the Active 2, 44 millimeter, as you can see there. Um, it's got a picture of the case on the front there. And then on the back, it's just got uh, a lot of stuff in uh, Chinese, I guess. But yeah, it's a pretty plain Jane black case. Um, so I got it on my watch actually right now. So as you can see here, um, so the, the watch casing itself, so it's a little bit different than the Spigen one. And I'm actually, I'm just going to take it off real quick. Uh, so it's a tad bit different than the Spigen one. And uh, one, it's not a, uh, so this, this casing here, if I can get it in focus, there we go. Uh, it's more of like, a it, well, one, it's more black but it's like a hard plastic. So it, it, the Spigen one felt more rubbery and, and was more flimsy. This one's a lot harder. So more like a TPU style, but it's not. Um, but as you can see here, the watch case looks very similar to the Spigen one. So it's got the cutout at the bottom. Um, so you kind of get that two-tone effect with mine since I have the LTE version, it's Chrome. So you do get that two-tone effect there. Uh, now on the front, you do have the um, two buttons here. So it, it does say home and back. And I don't know if you can pick up the wording or on it or not. I doubt it. It's so small, like there's that one and there's that one. Do you have a cutout? And then you do have another cutout there. And um, the watch case itself is very slim. Um, this one was a little bit harder to put on than the Spigen one because once again, it's a little bit like of a harder plastic. So it's not as flimsy and stretchable as the Spigen. Um, I don't know if I like that or don't like that. I'm not sure yet. Um, I've literally only had it a day, so I haven't been able to do like a full assessment on it, but I did want to dive in at least and like kind of just check it out and see. Uh, you know, see how it does. Um, but all in all, I mean, it's a good looking case. I like it. Um, the big selling point for me on this one was the ability to be able to get the rinky bezels. So if you are familiar with the brand at all, they make uh, these like bezel rings that you can put on uh, most smartwatches. Like they make them for the Galaxy Watch, uh, like the... The, like the 46 millimeter one they make them for like garmin phoenix watches um so it's just like a real cool uh just bezel ring that they can put on here and it just changes the appearance of the uh, watch and so with this you can put those on there um so it's gonna be a very slim little piece that goes on the front there but it's gonna change the look of the watch but the more I start thinking about it, I don't know if I really want that because depending on the watch face that I'm using, so for example, like this is the watch face that I typically like to use the most, just very generic. It's got all the um, proper things that I need to know, like the date and the battery and my steps and the, the temperature outside. But you know, if I was to do, say for example, like, the health dashboard one that most people typically tend to have on this watch having a bezel that looks more like a watch bezel like for example like say like my citizen watch here as you can see 
you know, it, they have bezels that look just like this one, you know, where here it's like a, you know, a, um, like a chronograph type of style watch, but it's got the, the bezel around it like that. And if I had that bezel on this watch with say like, a, once again, like a watch face that looks like this, I don't know if it would look good or not. Um, when it's off, like when the screen's all black, it would look really good, but you definitely have to get a watch face that would go well with whatever bezel you're getting. Um, but either way, um, uh, I think that the case will do a good job. Um, it looks good. Uh, it's not a fingerprint magnet or anything, or the oils from my finger isn't really affecting it or anything like that, which I like. That was something that I, I did notice on the Spigen case. Um, one thing to point out though with a watch case, and I just did a video on this on the new, so the Active 2 came out with a new software update to be able to do the new EKG readings like you were promised when you originally got the watch. Uh, just took a long time to you know pump up that app or pump out that app, excuse me. But at the end of the day, uh, one of the things that it requires you to do is when you're trying to do the EKG reading, is obviously the watch has to be snug on your wrist, but then it wants you to lightly press the top button. So lightly press the top uh, back button for some weird reason, I don't know why. Uh, and you can't do that with the case, because if you just lightly touch this, it's not doing anything to the button. But then when you hold the button, then on the display it says you don't need to hold the button. So it's like, well crap, I can't lightly touch it because I have a watch case on. So if you want to do EKG readings for the time being, then you cannot do them with a watch case on. So just something to think about. But uh, other than that, this is a really good little case. Uh, I have seen videos about people or comments in some of my other videos when I, on the other video where they said that they had this one, but it broke on them. And I can see how it would when you're trying to stretch out that bottom to put the watch in the case. I could easily see how that happens. Uh, cause it, it is, like I said, it's not a very soft, flexible, uh, rubber. It's, it's a little bit more rigid, a little harder. Uh, so I can see how that would break pretty easily. I had actually a little hard time at first putting this on and then, um, I just kind of gave it one more try and, and it went right on. Um, it does move around a little bit. I do notice. So like where some of the cutouts are, I can notice that like I can push it and it'll cover, so like I don't know if it'll pop up, but that little, uh, I think that's like a mic right there, the mic cutout. If you can see, I have it shifted just a little bit, and that watch case isn't really covering it, but I can move it. That's a little weird. I, don't, I didn't notice that on the uh, Spigen one. But um, other than that, guys, uh, that's it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward case uh, that goes on the watch. Uh, it was $9.99 on Amazon. It was one day prime shipping. And uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, I would recommend it. I think I like the Spigen one better. Uh, I do like the versatility of this one, being able to add the bezels to it or the aftermarket bezels. But once again, you know, for someone who likes just one pretty much standard watch face like me, uh, I think the bezels might be okay. But if you like like really bright graphic, you know, uh, watch faces, you know, it, it just, you really have to think about what bezel you're going to put on it then just because of that reason alone. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, that's it. Um, so check it out. Let me know if you got it down in the comments below. Um, but if you like this video, hit the like button and I would really appreciate if you uh, consider subscribing. So take care and uh, be safe out there.